In previous module, we learned about characteristics of life, biological diversity, biological classification, taxonomy, and binomial nomenclature. Dear learners, a very warm welcome to all of you. Myself, Nakib Mehdi, and in this module, we try to know more about the hierarchy of classification and the taxonomic aids. One of the most important things about living organism is that they are found in almost unbelievable number of varieties from microscopic organisms to the most gigantic organisms like the elephants and the blue whale, from organism having the shortest lifespan like mayfly to the organism having the longest lifespan. The fact is that biologists have recorded about 9,53,434 species of animals, 2,15,644 species of plants, 43,271 species of moles and fungi, 8,118 species of single-celled protozoans and 13,033 species of chromist, including brown algae, diatoms and water moles. However, there have been many more millions yet to be described. This classification of organism is a big task in order to make the study of living organism more organized. People classify living things into special groups so as to identify organism and understand the relationship that exist in the variety of life forms. The hierarchy of classification. Classification is not a single step process, but involves hierarchy of steps in which each step represents a rank or a category. It is a taxonomic group of real organism assigned to a category, whereas taxonomic category represents rank or level in hierarchy and does not represent the living organism itself. For example, Reptilia is a taxon here, but class is the category. Similarly, Mangiferaceae is a taxon here, but here family is a category. The Linean Taxonomic Hierarchy. The Linean Taxonomic Hierarchy is formal system of classification and naming living things based on simple hierarchical structures from most general to the most specific. He published the system of classification in a book called Systema Naturae in 1758 which is still considered to be the foundation book even in the modern taxonomy. The basic hierarchy as formulated by Linus includes kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. This very versatile arrangement can be used to classify every living organism, living or extinct. Kingdom, the highest ranking organism in standard linear system the term is based on earlier medieval and archimial ideas. Example, animal kingdom, vegetable kingdom, mineral kingdom. The original plant animal kingdom divide was replaced by five kingdom model of Whitaker and Margulis. All animals belonging to varieties of phyla are assigned to the highest category called kingdom animalia in the classification system of animals. Similarly, the kingdom plant, they, on the other hand, is distinct and comprise of all plants from various divisions. Henceforth, we will refer to these king two kingdoms as animal kingdom or the plant kingdom. As we go higher from species to kingdom, the number of common characteristics goes on decreasing. Phylum, referred to as division in the case of plants and bacteria. In the standard linear system, the taxonomic system based on it, a phylum is the taxonomic category between kingdom and class. A phylum is a major ranking of organism defined according to the most basic body parts shared by that group. Example, chordates, animals with notochord and vertebrate, arthropodas, animals with jointed pair of legs and exoskeleton, mollusk, animal with shell secreting mantle, angiosperms, the flowering plants and so on. Class. In the linear system, a class is a taxonomic category between phylum and order. A class is a major group of organisms, example mammalia, reptilia, gastropoda, insects, etc., that contains a large number of different sublineages, but have shared characteristics in common. Example, warm-blooded fur, mammary glands in female, in case of mammal, six leg and three body parts in case of insects. As with all the groupings, whether a group of organisms rank as a class or not, is a subjective decision, although usually based on traditional status of a group in earlier literature. The cladistic revolution has caused a reprisal of these rankings and rejection and modification of many of these rankings. Order. In the linear system, the order is a taxonomic category between class and family. 
An order is a group of organism example, Lepidopetra, Squamata, Primates, etc., that although differing quite a bit among themselves, still have a degree of characteristics in common. Example, all Lepidopetra, the butterflies and moths, have minute scales on the wing, a soft-bodied herbivorous larval form caterpillar, a mouth part, the adult has specialized for feeding, nectar, etc. Family. Family is one of the major taxonomic rank. It is classified between order and genus. A family may be divided into subfamilies, which are intermediate ranks above the rank of genus. Family, as it relates to a taxonomic rank, is between order and genus. Family then designates a category of classification that is fairly precise. For example, family would include categories such as apes and lemurs. They are similar, so within a primate order. The family of apes occurs. Families are categorized on the basis of both vegetative and reproductive features of plant species. Among plants, for example, three different genera, Solanum, Petunia, and Datura, are placed in the family Solanaceae. Among animals, example, genus Panthera comprises of lion, tiger, leopard, is put along with genus Felis, cats, in the family Filiidae. Similarly, if you observe the features of, of a cat and a dog, you will find some similarities and some differences as well. They are separated into two different families, Filidae and Canidae, respectively. Genus. In the Linnean system, the genus is the first grouping of species, the ranking between family or tribe and species. Only very closely related species are grouped together in a single genus. The genus is sort of a surname, whereas the species is the first name. Canis lupus, the wolf, is distinguished from Canis familiaris, the domesticated dog. Although very similar, they are still distinct species, but belong to the same genus, or in man, Homo erectus and Homo sapiens. Genus comprises of a group of related species which has more characters in common in comparison to species of other genera. We can say that genera are aggregates of closely related species. For example, potato and brinjal are two different species, but both belong to the genus Solanum. Lion, Panthera leo, leopard, Panthera pardus, and tiger, Panthera tigris, with several common features, are all species of the genus Panthera. The genus differs from another genus, Felix, which includes the cats. Species. In linear system and biology in general, a species is the smallest basic taxonomic unit used to define living organism. Species is the fundamental or smallest unit in the classification. The term species was recognized from genus by John Ray. Ernest Mayer defined species as a group of potentially interbreeding natural population of closely related organism. Taxonomic study consider a group of individual organism with fundamental similarities as a species. One should be able to distinguish one species from the other closely related species based on the distinct morphological differences. Let us take an example, Mangifera indica, Solanum tuberosum and Panthera leo. All the three names, indica, tuberosum and leo, represents the specific epithet, while the first word, Mangifera, Solanum and Panthera are genera and represents another higher level of taxon or category. Each genus may have one or more than one specific epithet representing different organisms, but having morphological similarities. For example, Panthera has another specific epithet called Tigris, and Solanum includes species like Nigrum and Melongena. Human beings belong to the species Sapiens, which is grouped in the genus Homo. The scientific name thus of human being is written as Homo sapiens. Taxonomic aids, tools for the study of taxonomy. To identify various species, both laboratory and field studies are important. The information gathered about the species need to be stored for future studies. The actual specimen is collected and preserved and stored for verification for any future reference. This helps in identification of species and their placement in taxonomic hierarchy. There are several aids like herbarium, botanical gardens, museum and zoological park. Herbarium. A herbarium is defined as a collection of plants that usually have been dried, pressed and preserved on sheets. Plant samples are taken from field and then dried or otherwise preserved. 
They are then carefully stored in archival conditions to ensure their longevity. The sheets are arranged in accordance with any accepted system of classification, usually Bentham and Hooker system. The storage of sheets forms a repository that can be used for future references. It provides a quick refer back system and is quite useful for people involved in taxonomic studies. All institutes leading with botanical studies maintain their herbaria. Students are trained to collect and identify herbarian specimens of local and distant places. The collection housed in herbaria are majorly used for scientific research. Research that might commonly take place in herbarium includes ecological research, mapping, current and past ecological and geographical distribution of plants, evolutionary history of plants, study of plants' community dynamics, community and their habitats, study of invasive species and weeds, molecular phylogenetic studies, classification and naming of organisms. Herbarium technique. The collection of specimens require regular field visit. One has to get the information about the place, habitat, season and time of collection of the specimen. The field visit helps in gathering information about environmental conditions from specimens have been collected. For collecting of specimens, one has to carry simple tools like digger for digging roots, a scissor for cutting twigs, knife for woody twigs and a pole with hook for collecting parts of tall trees. Vasculum or polythene bags are used temporarily to store fresh shoots to avoid loss of moisture and distortion by drawing and shriveling up. Vasculum is a box of about 40 by 60 centimeters, 20 centimeters in width and 25 centimeters in depth. Succulent plants, fruits, tubers, rhizomes are preserved in bottles having FAA. It includes formalin, acetic acid and alcohol. Some of them can also be dried and kept in packets. The dried specimen are then pasted on herbarium sheets. A standard size of a herbarium sheet is 29 by 41 centimeters. Specimens before fixing are kept upside down on paper sheet. Glue or adhesive is applied and then they are mounted on a herbarium sheet. All the pasted specimens are sprayed with fungicides like 0.1% of mercuric chloride, pesticides like DDT, naphthalin and carbon disulfide to check the growth of fungi. The heavy part of plants like seed, fruits are put in packets and attached with the sheet. Label 7 by 12 cm is pasted over the right hand corner and carries the following information. Collection number, place or locality from where the specimen has been collected, name of the collector, date and time of collection, common English name, vernacular name, the scientific name, family and the institution. Major herbaria. Largest herbaria of the world are at the Royal Botanical Garden Kew in England with 6.5 million specimens and Museum of Natural History. Paris about 6 million specimens. In India, the largest herbarium is at Indian Botanical Garden, Sippur, Kolkata, called as Central National Herbarium with about 2 million specimens. Botanical Gardens. Botanical Gardens are a collection of living plants maintained for reference. It is considered natural and economical referral system. There are over 525 large sized botanical gardens developed in various parts of the world. The first modern botanical garden was established in 1544 in Pisa, Italy. The botanical garden by Luca Guinea, a professor of botany. This garden does not exist today. A botanical garden exclusively growing trees and shrubs is called Arboretum. The most famous botanical garden is the Royal Botanical Garden, Kew, England. It is extended in about 200 acres of land. It was founded in 1759 by William Eiton. The largest botanical garden is the Havra Sippur, Kolkata. It was established in 1787. Besides it, other main botanical gardens are National Botanical Garden, Lucknow, Lloyd Botanical Garden, Darjeeling, Garden of Indian Agriculture Institute, Dehradun, etc. A botanical garden usually houses a library laboratory, herbarium and museum. It frequently offers teaching and training facilities also. In botanical gardens, one define each plant in garden with a scientific name and family mentioned on the label. International Association of Botanical Gardens was established in 1962, which published International Directory of Botanical Gardens in 1983. The role of botanical gardens. Number one, it provides plant material for comparative and taxonomic studies. Second, 
functioned as acclimatization center for exotic plants of economic importance. Third, growing and maintaining records of local flora. Fourth, provides material for botanical research. Fifth, ex to conservation of endangered plant species. Sixth, improve the environment providing greenery in big cities. And seventh, it purifies air. Museums. Museums are a collection of plants and animals for study and reference. Only those plants are preserved in museum which cannot be kept in herbaria. Example, algae, fungi, mosses and ferns. Parts of gymnosperm, fruits, underground storage organs. Animals are preserved in chemical solutions like formalin. As well as there are some forms which are stuffed and are in skeletal forms. Major museums of the world. American Museum of Natural History, New York, USA. State Museum of Natural History, Stuttgart, Germany. Museum of Natural History, Switzerland. National Museum of Natural History, Paris. National Museum of Natural History, Balakamba Road, New Delhi. Museums of Mumbai, Natural History Society. Zoological Parks. This is a place where wild animals are kept in their enclosures. These parks provide a natural environment. The scientific purpose of zoo is to breed the animals which otherwise are facing a threat in natural habitat. Due to developmental activity, they are facing poaching and habitat destructions. Keys, a scheme of identification of plants and animals is known as keys. The term key refers to as a set of alternate characters in such a manner that it helps in identification of organism by selection or elimination. The characters according to their presence or absence in the organism, thus taxonomic keys are based on contrasting characters. Separate taxonomic keys are required for each taxonomic category, like family, genus or species. These are more useful in identification of unknown organisms. Being analytical in nature, these are generally of two types, yoked or indented and bracketed. The indented keys provide a sequence of choice between two or more statements of characters of species. The user has to make correct choice for identification. In bracketed key, the pairs of contrasting characters are used for identification and they are given numbers in brackets. The number on right indicate the next choice of paired contrasting character. Identification of unknown species is usually made by using the key. That is a device in which successive choices between contrasting statements are followed until the correct name is found by the process of elimination. Keys play an integral part in flora, allowing for proper identification of families, species and interspecific taxa. Monograph. In biological taxonomy, a monograph is a comprehensive treatment of a taxon. Monographs typically revise all known species within a group, add any new discovered species and collect and synthesize available information on the ecological association, geographic distribution and morphological variations within the group. Example, Lent and Y. Godzinski's 1797 revision of triatomine and their significance as vectors of Chagas disease. The first ever monograph of a plant taxon was Robert Morrison's 1672 Plantarum Umbelliferum Distribution Nova, a treatment of the EPAC. The basics of taxonomy like identification, naming and classification of organisms are universally evolved under international codes. Based on the resemblances and distinct differences, each organism is identified and assigned a correct scientific biological name comprising of two words as per the binomial system of nomenclature. An organism represents, occupies a place or position in the system of classification. There are many categories, ranks, and are generally referred to as taxonomic categories or taxa. All the categories constitute taxonomic hierarchy. Taxonomists have also developed varieties of taxonomic aids to facilitate identification, naming, and classification of organism. These studies are carried out from the actual specimens, which are collected from the field and presented as referrals in the form of herbaria museum and in botanical gardens in zoological park. It requires special techniques for collection and preservation of specimens in herbaria and museums. Live specimens, on the other hand, of plants and animals are found in botanical gardens or zoological parks. Taxonomists also prepare and disseminate information through manuals and monographs for further taxonomic studies. Taxonomic keys are tools that help in identification based on characteristics. So with this, we conclude all about the living world. Until then, thank you and goodbye.